Welcome to Euro Bangla City SATV News. This is Shibala Alam with our headlines. Prime Minister's 75th birthday tomorrow. Country to vaccinate 80 lakh people marking the day, said Health and Family Welfare Minister. SSA exam scheduled for November 14, HSC for December 2nd. Students will have to have written tests on the limited syllabus this year. Supreme Court modified the High Court ruling on prior court permission to impose travel ban on drug suspect. The 75th birthday of Prime Minister and Bangladesh Army League President Sheikh Hasina will be celebrated across the country tomorrow. Sheikh Hasina, the eldest among the five children of father of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mojib Rahman, and Sheikh Fazlatan Nesa Mojib, was born at Tungipara in Gopal Ganj on September 28, in 1947. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is now in the USA as she went there to join the 76th United Nations General Assembly. The event's moderator introduced Sheikh Hasina as the jewel in the crown of the day while appreciating her leadership in spreadheading the SDG campaign even during the global COVID-19 pandemic. On the occasion, discussions, milad and dua mafil and special prayers will be organized in the capital and across the country with maintaining health guidelines. Meanwhile, Health and Family Welfare Minister Zahid Malik said, Bangladesh has set a target of inoculating 80 lakh people on September 28 across the country on the occasion of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's birthday. The mass vaccination campaign is set to begin from 9 a.m. and it will continue till the target is fulfilled, he told a virtual media briefing organized by Director General of Health Services. DGHS Director General Prof. Dr. Abul Basha Mohammad Khurshid Alam and Additional Director General Prof. Dr. Mirja Sabrina Flora joined the briefing. The health minister said people aged 25 and above will be vaccinated on the day and those who have already completed the registration process will get priority in receiving the vaccines. The government has prepared 80,000 health workers including 48,059 volunteers to make the countrywide vaccination campaign a success. This year's secondary school certificate SSC and higher secondary certificate HSC examination will start from November 14 and December 2nd respectively. The secondary and higher education division of the education ministry published the exam schedule on its website today. On September 23rd, Bangladesh Madrasa Education Board uploaded an exam routine on its website mentioning that Dakhil exams would begin on November 14. Usually SSC and equivalent exams are held in February but the coronavirus pandemic, however, forced the government to postpone the exams. Around 21 lakh students are expected to take the SSC and equivalent exams this session. The Supreme Court modified with some observations and directions the High Court ruling the Anti-Corruption Commission ACC has to take court permission to impose embargo on corruption suspect or accused from leaving the country. The Appellate Division of the Supreme Court said that the observations and directions will be included in its written verdict which will be released in 15 days. A four-member bench of the Appellate Division headed by Chief Justice Syed Mahmud Hussain delivered the verdict on the appeals filed by the ACC challenging the High Court judgment and orders on this issue. The ACC has filed five separate leave to appeal petitions with the Apex Court, challenging two verdicts and three orders delivered by the High Court in 2019 and this year over this issue. Now, international story updates. The centre-left Social Democrats led by Olaf Scholz narrowly defeated Chancellor Angela Merkel's Conservative in Sunday's vote to decide her successor preliminary results showed. The result marked a historic low for the CDU in one of the most unpredictable elections in Europe's biggest economy in recent decades. SPD leader Olaf Scholz have claimed a mandate to form a government with the Greens and the pro-business FDP, signalling his preferred partners in what would be Germany's first three-way ruling coalition. 
coalition. The Social Democrats said German voters had told the conservative CDU-CSU of outgoing Chancellor Angela Merkel that it was time to go to the opposition after 16 years in power. The voters have clearly spoken about it. They said who should form the next government, said Scholz. The strengthening three parties, the Social Democrats, Greens and the FDP, and therefore that is the clear mandate that the citizens of the country have given. These three should form the next government, added he. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization is restarting the pause investigation into the origin of the COVID-19 virus. This according to the Wall Street Journal on Sunday. The WHO says time is running out to trace the genesis of the virus that has killed more than 4.7 million people worldwide. The agency is assembling a team of 20 scientists consisting of specialists in laboratory safety and biosecurity and others that are knowledgeable in related fields. They will look into the number of possibilities, including whether the virus originated in a lab, a claim that has angered China since the start of the pandemic. The US and its allies have been pushing for research, while China have been saying other countries, including the US, should also be included in the investigation. Beijing is yet to confirm whether the government will let the team into the country. Over to the Canary Islands, where more volcanic explosion spewed red-hot lava high into the air on La Palma on Saturday as the new emission vent opened. The latest explosion forced the small Spanish island to close its airport while creating long clues from boats off the island. The seismic activity due to the eruption triggered a rock site at the cliff near the island's Tazacourt port on Sunday. Authorities have warned that the moving lava could create a cloud of toxic gases and possibly explosion as it hits the sea. The Cumbre Via volcano, which first erupted last Sunday, is now entering a new explosive phase. The eruption led to the evacuation of nearly 7,000 people on the island. Pope Francis is urging the international community to build a more inclusive world where no one is left out. During his prayer in St. Paul's in Peter's Square Sunday, marking the 107th anniversary of World Health Migrants and Refugee Day, the Pope said that the world needs to walk alongside migrants, refugees, displaced persons, victims of human trafficking, as well as the abundant, without prejudice or fear. He also expressed his appreciation to the different ethnic communities that were present at the prayer. In a couple of days from now, Japan's ruling party will decide the country's new prime minister. Latest polls shows Japan's vaccination minister Taro Kono is the most popular candidate to succeed Yoshihide Suga. According to the survey last week by Nikkei and TV Tokyo, 46% thought Kono was the most suitable person to become the next leader of the Liberal Democratic Party and the next prime minister. Former Foreign Minister Fumio Kishide trailed with 17%. Four candidates will be running in Wednesday's leadership race. Mercedes Lewis Hamilton won his first 100 Formula One race at the Russian Grand Prix on Sunday. Ironically, it was a sudden downpour during the tail of the end of the race that helped the British driver as Lando Norris, who had the lead with five laps to go to lost his lead after Hamilton switched to Ryan tyres. However, Hamilton already holds the record for the most F1 means with Michael Schumacher next in the all-time list with 91 victories. Before ending, we go through the Euro Bangla City SATV News headline again. Prime Minister's 75th birthday tomorrow, country to vaccinate 80 lakh people marking the day, said Health and Family Welfare Minister. SSA exam scheduled for November 14, HSC for December 2nd. Students will have to take written tests on a limited syllabus this year. The Supreme Court modified the High Court ruling on prior court permission to impose travel ban on drug suspects. We are up to date so far here on Euro Bangla City SCTV News and to know the latest news visit www.sctv.tv. Stay with SCTV.